is showing some kind of warning. Power restored to experimental device. Emergency system will activate in the event of abnormal subject behavior. Okay. It says power restored for, to experimental device. There's a mannequin lying on the exam table. It's got a bunch of electrodes sticking out of its head. Junpei, this thing is in here is on now. Yeah, that's because we activated the power over on this side. Could you, like, play with it a little? Okay, yeah. I'll turn this dial here. Turn, turn, turn. <laughs> uh, I don't think it's working. Nothing's happening. Well, maybe she missed something. I should ask her to look around the room again. This is the monitor. There are a whole lot of cables under this table. It's a rack. There are some cables on top with copper wire exposed. It's a wash basin, basin, more commonly known as a sink. Those are the stairs I just came down. The bars and the gate are just above me. A drain for water. It hasn't been used in a long time, so it's completely dried up. Maybe if you increase the voltage. Roger. Will do. Okay, I'm gonna go all the way and max voltage. Hey, wait, Clover. Oh. What? What? Um, I think, uh... I think you fried his brain. Oh my god! The, the mannequin's head! Oh man, that sounds like a fire alarm. Gah, what the hell? Fire detected! Fire detected! The emergency system will be activated. Evacuate the room immediately. The control device for the electronic door lock. The green light is on. Junpei, look at the light. Yes, it's green. The emergency system has activated the di and disabled the lock. Now we can save Clover. Junpei, come on kid, jump. She's safe. Oh man, that smoke is some serious business. Time to close the door again, I think. Clover, are you okay? Are you hurt? Damn, she's coughing so hard she can't even talk. Of course I'm not alright. What the hell took you so long, you big jerk? I was almost dead. Sorry, I was going so far, as fast as I could. You two can do this later. Right now, we need to get the hell out of here. That fire is not going to stay in that room forever. We found it by setting a fire. <sighs> Whew, thank God we got out of there. Yeah, finally. <coughs> oh, yeah. <sighs> All right, let's go. Okay. Ah, damn, none of these open. They're all locked. How about that one? Let's hope this is the door with the prize. Jumpy! Huh? June? Santa! S hey, what are you guys doing here? What? But we didn't... Hey guys! Could you come take a look at this? 
Hey, on the wall. A map of the ship's interior? It says Sea Deck. So it's the map for this floor, then? Door 7 and... Door 8. Yep, they both eventually end up at this hallway. That's where we were just then, and that's where we were earlier. Last week. Yeah, isn't that what I said? Or was it earlier this week? We aren't going to be split up permanently till we find door 9. We might get separated for a little while, but we'll see each other again. Otherwise, we won't be able to open door 9. And that's how the nonary game works. Wait a sec. This leads to... Oh! You've got to be kidding me. We may as well go. That's still in that one. As soon as we move there, then I'll jump forward a bit. I've cleared everything out down to... Pretty much down to there now. Yeah. Oh, I uh, almost forgot. We should keep this. Ready? I'm gonna open it. I knew it. We're back. In the hospital room. I see. I believe I understand what you're saying. The six of you split into two teams and went through doors seven and eight. And we're back here. So we've already heard everything here. Though both of them have those X's. But all the rest are fading through. I don't know then. Can I go back there and something else happen? Or can I go there and something else happen? I'll jump here and see. All right, let's go. That's the next door. Wait, a piece of paper. This is... Map of the ship's interior for a deck. <laughs> What's wrong? I found a map for this floor. I see. Well, that was anticlimactic. I should keep this, though. Hey, uh, where's Clover? Damn it. What the hell is she up to? Clover! Huh? <sighs> what the hell are you doing? Nothing. What do you mean, nothing? What the hell is that? What? You've got something in your pocket. Oh, uh, um, hmm. What the hell? Come on, we gotta hurry. Huh? Clover, what's that on your back? A stick. Hey, Clover, what the hell's that thing on your back? Is she ignoring me? Ah, for crying out loud. <laughs> the big stairs. Huh. So this is where it ends up. Not still in that one. Just like it says on the map. Ace, did he head down? Oh, there he is. Look, the four others are there too. Really? Let's join them. Jumpy, Cla What's up? We found it. Found what? We found it. What did you find? Door nine. The last door. We found door nine. Come on! Just follow us! We'll explain on the way! Okay. Well, if that's the case... Wait for me. No, it's gone in there. And I had no choice to change it. Look, it's... Might need to do something above that point, but 
looking at the flow, all of the rooms have been completed. All the boxes are done. So yeah, I'm, I don't know. Seven and Lotus. We've got a problem. Clover is gone. What? What do you mean, gone? When? Why? You two went into door one with Clover, didn't you? Yeah, we went through the door together. But Clover barely spoke to us. She just did her own thing the whole time. Huh. <sighs> there were four rooms on the other side of door one. She wouldn't let us into the fourth room. She just said, I'll take care of this one. And shut the door. She must have blocked it with something on the other side. We waited for a while, but Clover didn't come out. We called for her, but she didn't answer. So I kicked down the door and we went into the room. But... Hmm. It was empty. Clover wasn't there. There was a door on the other wall. And it was open. <sighs> we figure she opened the door and left by herself. We ran after her, of course, but... Well, obviously we didn't find her. You figured that much out. Clover's gone. When did this happen? We got here just before you. You certainly have excellent timing. So you haven't searched anywhere other than near this... No, we haven't. Very well, then. We'd best separate and look for Clover. We haven't much time left. Let's begin. I have seen all this. Is it still... Yeah, it's still in that lot. Yeah. She's not here. No, she isn't. There's no sign of her. All right. I'm thinking we should probably split up. I'll head back to the stairs and take the elevator down to E-deck. June, you can take the stairs up to B-deck. All right, that sounds good. But, um... What? Could you stop calling me by that code name when we're alone? Huh? Oh, uh, sure, right. Um... Jumpy. Oh, um, no, it's nothing. All right, I'm going then. Yeah, be careful. You be careful too, Jumpy. Yeah, got it. I think this is different. Tragedy always strikes when you least one least expects it. No. It's going that way. I don't think you saw this ending, did you? This was the very first ending I got. But to wait for a man to stand before striking him down seems almost crueler than dealing the fatal blow while he lies on the ground. A light in a dark place, June's smile had given him hope, both for escape and possibly for something else. It was that hope that raised his spirits just enough that they might soon be fully dashed. He opened the elevator door and there she was. A woman sat slouched against the wall, Lotus. Junpei felt his blood turn to ice. Her body was limp and her skin smooth and pale as always. Was covered in, in bright red blood. Junpei felt his chest constrict. He couldn't breathe and his legs began to shake. A slow cold drop of sweat trickled down his back. He felt his stomach somersault. Junpei's mind went blank. All his thoughts replaced with endless hissing white. Driven by a little more than instinct, he, he began to walk towards Lotus slowly. Each slow movement of his stiff limbs brought him closer to her corpse. Finally, he stood next to her. Robotically, he bent down and pushed his hand against her neck. There was no pulse. No rise and no and fall of breathing. She was slightly warm. Something somewhere in Junpei's shaken mind told him that meant she had been killed recently. Yes, Junpei thought. His mind slowly returned. She had ki been killed. Someone had killed her. There was a deep cut on the left side of her chest. 
Blood still oozed from it, although clearly her heart had stopped beating some time ago. The weapon had been a knife then. Perhaps she had been stabbed in the heart once. She would have died immediately. He took little comfort from knowing she was she must have suffered very little. Only then did J Junpei notice. Lotus bracelet was gone. Lastly, let us discuss how to remove the bracelets. There are only two ways to do so. One, you escape from this ship. Two, more likely, which is zero. In the past, once the bracelet is taken outside the confines of the ship, or the backside of the mirror's heartbeat has fallen to zero, it will shut down automatically. Was that why the killer had ended Lotus's life? So that they might have the number 8 bracelet? If that was true, then the killer was, however, wanted the number 8 bracelet. Or perhaps more accurately, the person who would gain the most by attaining bracelet number 8. Who is that? Who could benefit the most from the number 8 bracelet? The thought had only just entered Junpei's mind when... He heard a noise, a sound like a sharp knife cutting through wet meat. It struck him as strange that the noise came from inside his own body. A moment later the pain hit him. It wasn't merely pain, there was heat, extreme heat, as well. He felt as though molten iron had been splashed against the side of his body. Finally, his brain made the connection. He had been stabbed. But where? His body was quiet, quickly going numb. He couldn't tell where the knife had met his flesh. Given the circumstances, however, he had most likely been stabbed in the back. Whoever had killed Lotus had now done the same to Junpei as well. His voice was little more than a weak groan. With what little strength he had left, Junpei turned his body, turning trying to catch a glimpse of his attacker. But as he did, the knife dug itself in deeper, twisting viciously. He collapsed to the floor, a puppet with its strings cut. His arms and legs lay where they fell, oddly twisted and awkwardly positioned. Junpei's body was entirely numb, he could feel the blood leaking out of his but nothing wouldn't move. Nothing save his eyes. As he lay on the floor, his life ebbing away, Junpei finally saw his attacker. Two tiny images of the killer reflected in his eyes. With that recognition came nothing. He felt no emotions, no anger, no sadness, no regret. The paralysis that had claimed his body had reached his mind. His killer glanced down at his body. Then without a word, climbed into the elevator and was gone. His eye eyesight being began to fade. The world grew blurry and began to dissolve into an empty white fog. The fog crept into the eye, edges of his mind and worked inexorably inward. Soon it swallowed up the last that remained of Junpei's mind, and his consciousness left him. There was nothing more. Into utter emptiness he fell, into zero. Whatever Junpei had been was gone. So there was that end. I still don't know why I can't activate those two. I've completed everything else.
that was the last one I got to, wasn't it? That was the lab, yep. Might just go back here and quickly run through it and see. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh. All right. Hot damn. How about that? Let's hope this is the door with. Jumpy! Huh? June? Santa! Hey, what? But. Hey, God! Hey, on the wall. And that's where. Oh no, almost. Oh. A map of the ship's. It says seed, so it's the map for. Door seven. Maybe I didn't Door quite eight. get this up. Yep. They both eventually end up at this hallway. No, each time you go through a room, everything you collect in the room disappears once you leave the room. The only things you hold on to are keys. Yeah. And, Isn't and, that what I said? And the keys are found in places where what well, at the same places where clues are found in the rooms so you can't miss them we aren't going to be split up we might get separated otherwise and that's how they know wait a sec this leads to oh you've got to be kidding i should still have all the well go. yeah oh i almost forgot we should keep this ready I knew it. We're back. In the hospital room. Or you're thinking on because this path is going down that way. No, that's not what I wanted. For that one, I might need the key for those ones. From that one. How I ah oh, because I accidentally clicked on it. I think we're still there. So one of those keys from that one to open one of those. And maybe from there to open that one. Or those two to open that one. But to get that way, I had to go through those rooms already. And that room there doesn't have an option, a choice for me to make. Nor does that one. Yeah, I'm a bit confused. I see. The six of you, you solved the puzzle and then met one. At any rate, I know I said I would. I didn't think it would happen. Well, we saw each. Anyway, I said we found the key. The key? Ain't that what I just. Here. Whoa. <laughs> Gee. I see. I'm going to let you hold on to that. Yeah, on it. Well, I've got something for you too then. So. Seven went through those ones where I went through those ones and the key that was found there seven just gave to me here and they're still locked oh. here it's the Saturday I might lose it it's probably yeah so how many unused keys there's the earth key we the Jupiter key you just... And the Saturn key... I'll keep them safe. The Jupiter key is supposed to be for the door at the end of that long straight hallway, right? I've got that key card now. And they've still got the X's, so... Oh. Yeah, if the map's right. Then, next to the... Wait! 
What about Dorothy? Look, it's the same. There's no point. There is a point. At least there is. Yeah, snake money. Very well. I've had a nice. So seven. Huh? Damn. So I'm going with you. Yes, you are. All right. Let's get moving. Okay, we're heading out. Be careful. Whoa. Don't let it go to your... The rest of us can't... Oh. Ah, the truth. We do now know that okay. Snake's arm is fake. Hey, welcome in there, Origami Cyclone fam. How are you today? All right, we should get moving too. Huh? Get moving. Where are we going? Well, it would be a waste of time to just let me explain. Oh, I get it. We're going to see if we can get anywhere interesting with the Jupiter key. I'm not doing too bad. You may not be able to help here, though. I've now got all the endings except these two. Well, for now. But both of these are locked. I've done everything above it, but I don't know how to unlock them. Do you know what I'm missing? Oh. Yes. If we're I'm kind of just skipping through the dialogue. The Jupiter right? symbol on the keyhole. All right, Junpei, open. Yeah. Yeah, how do I avoid that ending? Great. Back to the beginning. You sure this is a good idea? Because that was that one. Yeah, I gave Clover the bookmark, which led to that, I guess. So if I don't give Clover the bookmark, it goes to that one? Yeah, I did talk to her. I thought I talked to her as much as I could. Do you remember which spot it was? I'll give it another try. I think it was that one, wasn't it? I'm pretty sure here we send Ace to the other room and then we talk to Clover. So Ace is in that room. Oh, pocket watch. Hey, man. Uh, what are you doing over in this room? Oh, yeah. oh, I just thought I'd come check up on the two. I'll say the other options. Yeah, there is. You checked on us. Now get out of here. We split this stuff up for a reason, all right? But why did I say that? I didn't need to speak to Ace that way. I feel kind of off somehow. Oh, I see, of course. I apologize for the intrusion. Well, best of you. Ow. Ah, what the hell? Ah, my... Ah, uh, yes. There was something I wanted to check, if you don't mind. Yeah? Uh, what's that? Pardon me. Hey, what What the hell are you doing? Whoa, what are you putting your... I... Uh, uh... That happened in the other room last time. Just as I thought. You switched them, didn't you? Uh... Uh, well, I managed to get through the number. Then, why did... Oh, simple curiosity. <sighs> so that, that did happen differently. 